are here to open this uh, really unique nature trail to acquaint residents and visitors alike with the remarkable natural resources here. In June of 2011, the town submitted a grant application to the Greenbelt Fund uh, for a grant to create nature trails here as well as to improve some of our beach access paths. In 1991, Sullivan's Island Town Council members had the foresight and the fortitude to realize that they were gaining this wonderful land and to realize that it was going to be in really, really high demand for lots of uses that might not have been compatible with our island lifestyle here. So they, did, they took a bold move and they worked out an arrangement with the Lowcountry Open Land Trust to permanently protect this land from any kind of development. I've used this track of land extensively to explain people the flora of the low country of South Carolina. But I think what this trail is going to do is going to bring more and more people from the island out here. And there's still a lot of work to do to protect this property, make sure it stays as it is. And the more people that this trail brings out here, the more people on the island realize that it's theirs, it belongs to them. We've got an accreting uh, maritime ecosystem which is quite unique. Uh, for the coast and particularly under uh, sea level rise conditions um, and this place is only going to theoretically get bigger and better as time goes by but I think this is just an incredible educational opportunity and hopefully we'll get people to really understand better about what's going on here and how valuable this property is. Places to look at wildlife, um, butterflies come through here in the fall as well as, as the birds do so try to make places that people could rest people could meditate, things like that. So I hope that when you go through here, you know, you really take your time and, and enjoy it.